Welcome to the summit. Thanks for stopping by today. I'm Joey McWilliams. I know we continue here in the time of no sports, but just because nothing's happening on the court or on the field, on the diamond, wherever it may be, that doesn't mean that nothing's happening in the sports world. And Oklahoma City continues to make some moves and again, announcing a new head basketball coach. This time in women's basketball, Brett Taha has been named the new head women's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University. And Coach, first, congratulations on your new job. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm very excited. Listen, a lot to be excited about, I know, and, and we'll talk about your program here in just a moment, but you are the first alum to take the reins of the program, the Stars Basketball Program, a very decorated program with many national championships, and, and you've played on some great teams as well. Talk about being the first alum then to come back and take over. Uh, yes, I did play on some great teams, and it was an honor to be a part of um, the program and as an athlete, and now it's even more an, an, of an honor to be able to lead the team. Um, you know, it's it's just a big-time blessing, and uh, I want to thank Jim Abbott and the rest of the administration for giving me this opportunity. Well, it is a big deal, and, and of course, uh, a, a great program in the state of Oklahoma, but you've been involved with great programs as well on the high school level, too. You're an Oklahoma girl who played high school ball at Hobart, a couple of all-state years there as well, and then some head coaching stops along the way in your coaching career so far, most recently at Frontier. Talk about uh, being a high school basketball coach in Oklahoma. I, you know, I've had some really good teams, um, made two trips to the state tournaments, once with Elgin and once with Frontier, and every step has, uh, you know, been learning experiences, and I've got to meet some, meet and coach some great kids and be a part of some really good school districts, so thankful for all those opportunities along the way that's uh, led me to OCU now. You know, I know that um, Oklahoma City University, you know, I talk about being a great program, and, and you're no stranger to this program as well. Uh, there have been very good teams along the way. You got to go to a couple of Fab Fours uh, in your yeah. time there. Talk about your tenure then as, as uh, playing with that Stars uniform on. I did. Uh, we got to play in two Fab Four tournaments, and we won a, confer uh, a conference championship. And, uh, you know, it was just a lot of fun, some great experience that um, I'm going to be able to take as a coach, knowing what it's like to be an athlete at OCU and the expectations that come with it. Um, just having that experience um, and understanding what it takes to get it done uh, is huge being able to step into this position. Speaking now with Coach Brett Taha, who is the new head women's basketball coach at Oklahoma City University here on the summit. And by the way, I encourage you to like and share these videos from MidwestSports.net's YouTube channel. And please subscribe to the channel as well. That would be very much appreciated. You know, in this time of no sports in which we find ourselves right now, I know there are challenges in getting to, you know, speak to the team and get to visit with everyone. How are all these Zoom meetings going on and in, in getting to meet your new players? So I started, um, I was announced over Zoom, and the next day I set up individual meetings with all the returning athletes, and those went pretty well. Um, but if I'm being completely honest, I didn't necessarily like it. Um, so I've actually been making home visits um, at a socially safe distance just so I can get to know the kids and the parents. Um, I've met six, all six Oklahoma kids. I'm making a trip to Texas this upcoming weekend to met, meet the three girls in Texas. But just getting to see them in person, get to know their parents, um, it's making the transition a lot easier just because – I get to see them in person and not their computer. So that has been one of the most enjoyable parts for me so far is really getting to start building those relationships with the returning players. You know, I completely understand that, Coach. I mean, that it's, it is what it is right now. I mean, the, the situation in which we live and, and how we're dealing with things, but, man, getting that face-to-face -face opportunity, again, at a socially proper distance, doing everything right, and I, and I appreciate you saying that and, and qualifying that as well. Well, you know, talking about those players then, the cupboard is definitely not bare. As Coach Bo Overton moves on, but he leaves behind a, a team then that was number one in the country for a few weeks last season, an NAI tournament qualifier and definitely going in strong, 30-2 and two overall the record last year, and you bring back a couple of All-Americans. I mean, it, it looks like the table's set up pretty nicely for you. Uh, I want to, you know, Coach, Coach Overton did a great job bringing in these kids and uh, just getting to know them there. 
you know, great basketball players, but even better kids. And I can't wait to um, get the season rolling and, um, you know, see what we can go do at the conference level and definitely at the national level as well. You know, the Sooner Athletic Conference definitely is a, a, a challenging conference in, in all kinds of different sports throughout the NAI. Basketball definitely with both men's and women's basketball. OCU has, has brought in another head basketball coach, Coach Tim Kisner, or on the men's side. I had a chance to visit with him a couple of weeks ago as well, and I'll throw this out there for you too. You know, you look up in the rafters and you see all of those – the, those banners and everything else you, you walk in and you're coaching on a on a court that bears Abe Lemon's name uh, with all the history there talk about then being a part of a program like that and now getting to put your stamp on it you know whenever I was a player I took so much pride in being able to, being able to wear the stars apparel and now that I'm the coach it's just the same amount of pride just coming back um, you know, being a part of the university that has so many national championships and are successful at almost every single thing they do. It's just, you know, an honor and a privilege. And I feel extremely blessed to be able to carry on that tradition as the uh, women's basketball coach. I like that you came prepared with the stars material okay. too. The, the definitely got some swag going on already. And I, I'll bet you had a, uh, one or two of those at least in the closet before you took the job, right? I did. I did. <laughs> Well, listen, I, I talked about putting your stamp on the program. Then as we, we wrap up our time today, Coach, and thank you very much for it, I, what what does uh, that stamp look like when you talk about one of your teams coming out to take the court? Uh, we are going to work incredibly hard. Uh, we're going to do the little things right, and we're going to play with energy and intensity, uh, not only on the court, but we're also going to do things right off the court. Um, you know, and We're just going to have a team that's built of good, strong, young ladies that want to do things right in every aspect of their life. All right. Well, we look forward to getting to see that and hopefully the season will get started uh, very close to on schedule of what we think it should be as the schedules. Uh, then I'm sure we'll still be uh, putting in place a little bit later on. So I, I hope you're able to get to let your team take the court and practice together sometime very soon. Coach Brett Taha, thank you so much for taking time with us today on the summit. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. And again, I invite you to like and share this video and please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching the summit today. God bless you. Have a great day.